Have you ever heard the saying that if a deal is too good to be true, it probably is? And today we're gonna show you a great example of that. We bought what we thought was gonna be a gaming PC with pretty nice hardware for $500, but got this. I'm really confused on what exactly is in this box, but we're gonna open it up and find out after a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ProtoArc and their ergonomic EK01 Plus keyboard. The EK01 Plus features a unique curved split key layout to reduce wrist and forearm strain while promoting correct posture. With the concave keys and cushioned wrist rest, you get an effortless and comfortable typing experience when paired with the customizable tilt angles. It also features a tri-mode connectivity with its 2.4 gigabyte USB and Bluetooth, allowing for seamless device switching as well. The EK01 Plus also has adjustable soft white LED backlight, creating a nice aesthetic while also reducing eye strain in low light environments. If you're interested in learning more or in buying the EK01 Plus, check out the links in the description down below and use code 25TOASTYBROS to get 25% off today. Big thanks again to ProDark. Now, let's get back to the video. This is a big box. Very very, very large. So yeah, we were on Amazon and we saw a PC from the brand Generic, which again, do not buy from Generic. But you know what? We were like, let's just do it for a video. Like worst case, it gets canceled or worst case, we get a monitor again like we did the last time we ordered something random. And well, we got this. It was supposed to be a 3700X with an RX 6700 XT PC, which for $500 would be insane. It was supposed to be one of those Asus ROG based on the pictures. But the title says Acer Predator and this is what we got, which we're not even sure if it's a gaming PC or not. Yeah, so at first, we, you know, we got the package like a week ago and we kind of just let it sit up front because we were like, well, here's what it says. PG20, I assume it's the model number, 3700X and 2060 Super. And that's about as far as we read. We both were just kind of like, well, okay, this obviously is not as good of a deal, but it's not like a scam. So I mean, what's up with that? But then Matt put the box up here and I really got to <laughs> looking and I was like, assembly required, operating system not included, a picture of what looks like a bunch of PC parts outside of a case. Hmm, and also the box being so large. I'm like, did we buy a build it yourself accidentally? And I did not even know Acer made that. So it, there is a lot of <laughs> warning signs here. And yep. um, there's, a, there's, a, oh, there's wow. a modular power supply. A power supply, wow. So what is our power supply? I guess we're doing a build it yourself now. And obviously as an end consumer, you'd probably be really upset <laughs> right now. If you bought a pre-built, you probably don't want to build it yourself. So it's a 650 watt. Um, 80 plus gold. It looks like it's standard American adapter. So that's Shout good. Cooler master. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I've heard of this one. The MWE, huh. the WWE gold fully modular. We don't normally see a lot of cooler master power supplies here in the US unless they're like uh -huh. really high end in their normal lineup. This one seems like it's fairly high end. Uh, so that's good. What is in this box? I this wonder. is like the ultimate prank. Like I just think of somebody who bought this thinking they're getting a pre-built and they just got PC parts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this definitely... is horrible. See for us, it, it'll probably be kind of fun. Oh, this is our cooler. So so we get a, I think this is a Hyper 212, is it, uh, what is this? I would think that's a Hyper 212, like one of the black ones. Yeah, that's a Hyper 212. Yeah, this isn't the blackout one though. This no. one's different um, and the fan's kind of weird. So I'm not exactly sure which exact cooler this is, but it seems like a 212 model of some sort, but that's cool, <laughs> got a tower cooler. Okay, uh, we got mounting for it. Yeah, it's all there. All so the we mounting. Got, we got different different mounting too, not that you're gonna build something different now. <laughs> I'm assuming some of the stuff's already installed, like the motherboard maybe? I'm gonna guess the motherboard and everything. I hope. Oh, which would be so weird. Why didn't they put the cooler on there then? <laughs> no, yes, before people say in the comment section down below, we could look up this bare bones and kind of get an idea here. But at this point, we're so far in, we're just gonna explore and learn as we go. Yeah, that's kind of the, <laughs> that's kind of what we do here. I mean, that's the whole point oh of my. this is like, look, did we have stuff fall to both sides? Uh, so we had foam fall, but we also have peripherals, which look kind of cool, actually. These look like real gaming they peripherals. They like name brand, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Predator Atheon or Athon uh, 100, and then we got the Predator <laughs> cesspool, the cestus, <laughs> the cestus, three ten. Are these? Yeah, this will be. What, dude? This is like a. This has to be somewhat pricey. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like we paid five hundred dollars for this, and if the specs are what it says on the outside of the box, the twenty sixty super and thirty seven hundred X for a pre build, that's pretty good. And then it comes with peripherals, but I mean, we're technically building it ourselves, so it kind of loses a little bit of value there. Yeah. Well, and also the operating system part. No I wonder OS, how that's gonna yes. work. This stuff ain't getting sent back now. Mm -mm, we're keeping it. Not in one piece, at least. This is the first time we've ever gotten a, well, not really a pre-built, but you know, a pre-built that has like name brand stuff. So it looks like it actually has a button on the back to change like RGB and stuff, uh, you know, dual macro switch DPI button. It actually is like a good feeling mouse. Nice. And there's no way this is a mechanical keyboard. There's no way. We it's have a to big check. box, but there's no way. We have to check that would, this would be a first. If we got a mechanical keyboard with this, this is just such a weird combo. 
membrane. Yeah, it's definitely membrane. Yeah, it's membrane, but it's a pretty nice keyboard. You would never see a membrane keyboard do that. That's just weird, but that's a nice keyboard, braided cable and everything. So, all right, this unboxing has just gotten even weirder. That stuff off the side of the table is already getting crowded because there's this so much is, stuff in here. Is there, am I missing something or is the motherboard going to be in there with just the CPU and no cooler? Or is the CPU box in the case? Or I don't know. So, so far we have about half the build. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that there's a GPU, CPU, and the motherboard's pre-installed, or there's a bunch of boxes shoved in this case, and that, that's what my hope is. Oh, the other thing I noticed right before we started filming this video is um, the uh, the big box there had like a time and date on it, which was like 2020, sometime in 2020. So I don't know if this has just been sitting on a shelf for years and the company just hijacked the listing maybe. We we really know about that now because of uh, like BlairTech, like Perifio. Yeah. Ever since they told us about like Walmart and Amazon, other sellers can basically come in and they can almost like hijack a pre-existing listing with a lower price. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. This is an interesting case. This is, a cool, this, this case? is a cooler master case. This is like one of their half cases that we, This is, I used to have this case in my, as my build when we first moved to our first office. All kinds of dented up oh, here, yeah. but that's okay. It's just a uh, fan I'm filter. so confused. Yeah, wait, why like, is how's this so Acer? much? <laughs> how, why is there so much cooler master? Is this sponsored? Yeah, like what is Bro, this? Oh, hold up, the motherboard is like, it's all, I think it might be screwed in, but they left the peel on it. <laughs> what? This is so weird. This whole thing is weird as heck. Okay, that's a big box. Okay. So our motherboard is clearly right here. We saw that. There's it's no just CPU. in the bag. No CPU in it. What is this? Is that a mouse pad? <laughs> <laughs> an like, Acer mouse pad? This is like an adventure. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we got all that out. Predator gaming mouse pad. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Man, I, I will. I gotta give Acer some credit here because I've never really used the peripherals. Their unboxing experience for cheap stuff is nice. I just love that it went from Prevo computer to all of this. Yeah. There's so much it's, stuff. It's almost a full setup at this point. We, if they had just included a headset, <laughs> like we'd be there. All right, cute little mouse pad. It'll That's get the fun. job done. It's a nice board too. That's a, uh, uh, what is that? Fando a PG? Gaming, yeah, Asrock board. It's an X570 too. Wow. I mean, that's like over a hundred dollar board. And here's everything. What? Wow. Okay, right, now this feels good. This, this feels is a presentation. Good. Got some stickers. We got our screw kit. Good. What is that? Windows maybe? Oh, no, it's just an adapter. Okay. USB-C to USB-3. Thank goodness our IO yeah, shield is there. We got a Ryzen 3700X and then this RAM is kind of not labeled, but it's supposed to be 30 or 16 gigs, okay. I believe. That Kingston, that's a name brand, Kingston 512 gig NVMe. I don't, I think it's just Gen 3. I would 3. think Gen 3, yeah. What else is in here? And this the GPU just... should be there. Oh, oh and a screwdriver. Some, some tools. <laughs> is this like a, this is like a not, oh wait, no, this is, is that weird? Weera? Is that Weera? Or is that, it says Weeha. <laughs> well, the other screwdriver says it too, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's weird because they're made in Germany. Is it? Is it a knockoff? Is there another, yeah, is that a knockoff? Or is there another I'm brand we don't up, know is, about? Is it, what is it's, a real, it's a nice little screwdriver, W-I-H-A. I don't remember how, we, I think Weera is W-E-R-A. Don't we have one over there? Cool, okay. So, yeah, I think these are, yeah, that's the same logo. <laughs> made in Germany, made in Germany. Yeah, that is. Okay. <laughs> are we exposing a company for not being American made? I don't even know, but yeah, here, here's Weera, which is also, I believe, I believe a German brand. This is like a Be Quiet branded one, but okay. I mean, regardless, they're nice tools. They're actually like a, a name brand. Let's go ahead and pull out our graphics card. Gigabyte? This is just so weird. <laughs> like, I almost feel like this was a, not a scam, but like a mistake. Well, it's funny. Somebody was paying to promote this too. This popped up as a sponsored listing on Amazon. Really? So this wasn't like a listing thing, unless they just really messed up. Yeah, it's a 2060 8 gig, a 20, 206S, a 2060 Super 8 gig. A little bit of some weird text going on there, but I mean, it's it's definitely a real card. Uh, looks like we might have maybe some cables under. Oh my God. <laughs> they gave us the Gloves. white glove treatment. Yes. Uh, we have, it looks like two anti-static wrist straps. Maybe, yeah, I think it's two for, for Matt and I to build with. Yep, yep. Uh, M.2 screws, a thermal pad, and uh, SATA cables. I mean, they gave you everything you need. I don't know if there's any instructions though. Pretty basic instructions. So um, yeah, okay, the build guide itself, if you had gotten this <laughs> and you don't know how to build a PC, uh, you're just gonna have to watch us really. Cause this definitely is not like a, it's not like NZXT build or anything like that, but everything's there guys. I mean, well, we're, we're here this far. I ain't packing this back up to send to Amazon. Nope. Let's just build a computer that we thought was gonna be a pre-built and then just determine if we actually got a good deal when we thought we got scammed. We definitely have to do some some price looking up and everything. <laughs> and then we need to factor in Windows as well, you know, using a special discount code. Yeah, special discount code, guys. All right, let's get into it.
All right, gamers, we're kicking things off with good old Fortnite 1080p performance settings, 165 FPS frame cap, and these are the settings for our regions, low textures, low meshes. And um, yeah, we'll see what this PC that we well, had to build is capable of doing in Fortnite. Found him. Mm -hmm. You sure you want to push me? Why do you think it was a good idea to push me right there? Not the gun for this map. Okay. Oh! That was almost embarrassing. Oh, now you want to peek out. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Goodbye, Ninja Turtle. Ah! No! That game went so well up until that point, and I absolutely fell to dog water. But great way to start back into Fortnite. Day after Christmas is when we're recording this, and a pretty decent run. Let's move on to the next game. All right, guys. Well, we got put in mid-game. That's okay. We're at max FOV, 1080p, medium settings, Halo Infinite. It's a triple-A title. It's not super easy to run, but for a PC like this, I think we'll have a good time. Yeah, let's see if we can get some headshots. I'm 0-2. Z-Gator, let's I'm go. This is not going well, but... Once I warm up my flick, they're done. You know, right before we started filming, I told Jax, I was like, it's either gonna go one, two ways. He's gonna pop off or it, that's gonna happen. I'm putting my headphones on. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> These freaks. I'm not oh. well. I mean, I got him again, <laughs> got one, like, yeah. man. All right, the perfect time to change that again. <laughs> These controls make no sense. Uh, I've, I've never had to re in like, actually I think I've re like, I think you might have to on this one. Yeah, this, this, this feels is, like this a re is really this, bad. This is really bad. I mean, this is like ridiculous. There we Freaking go. Freaking loser! Why are you sitting still? Oh, Why hey, is here my, we go. I hate this crouch, dude. It's pissing me off. <laughs> These guys are so good. <laughs> Tongue. I'll get my calister a quick play that isn't this. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be like, Smile. I couldn't use any of that footage because you were talking about licking doorknobs. <laughs> For us oh, guys yeah. trying to pretend to be business pros. No more. This, this is this is the real, the real, the real game deal. Need. Yeah, buddy. You just didn't kill him. <laughs> I'll use it though. This is the. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh! I should. I, I I win these every time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it worked. Shield broke. Let's go. The dream combo. What the frick? No. Don't worry, team. I got you. Come across the map, baby. Some across the map support. Oh, not <laughs> Keep spinning! You're spinning! Money. God tier grenade. That was not a very good sneak up. But he also didn't melee me back, so that worked out really well. Yeah. If he gives much more, I'm gonna I'm gonna freak. This thing's kind of OP. This is the this is Especially the Especially with this yeah! guy just looking. Feeding. Wait, okay, recorded bar warning record. There has to be some bot relationship going on here, guys. <laughs> there has to be, but this is running really good. Uh, let's do 3D Mark and uh, see how this compares to other PCs and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done building our pre-built as well as benchmarking it, and we were able to play Halo Infinite, which is a AAA title at 1080p medium settings, and we got well over 100 FPS, and I expect you to be able to play any AAA title on this PC with pretty good results, and the best part is I did the math for this exact build using eBay pricing, Amazon, and Newegg, basically the best pricing I could find, and this build would cost around $780 right now to build yourself. So yeah, the value for money is really awesome, and when we played Fortnite, we obviously had a really good result as well, getting 
100 plus, sometimes 200 plus FPS on performance settings. And when it comes to 3D Mark Time Spy, we got a score of 8,788, which resulted in a six cent per point average, which is really good value for money compared to other PCs we have benchmarked here on the channel. And overall makes this a really good buy, even though we technically got scammed. So if you happen to find this yourself, be very careful because again, the listing doesn't tell you what you're getting, but if you find it, there's a chance you might get what we got here and actually get good value, even though it could have been better value if we got what we actually ordered. But regardless, interesting video, check the link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link to the listing, which may or may not still be active. So be careful when you're shopping around for them. But let us know what you think of this scam in the comment section down below. Did we make out good with it? I think we did. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech with a one-year warranty, and it's actually pre-built. So yeah, buy a PC today. It's pre-built, ready to go, or you can buy some of our other PCs using code SANTA5 for the month of December to save 5%, and for the rest of the year going to 2024, Toasty Bros 2 to save 2% on a PC. PCBros.Tech. See you guys later. Goodbye.